does anyone remember back when Barack Obama was president and AM radio host Rush Limbaugh declared that he hoped Obama would fail, specifying that he hoped that he failed at driving the U.S. closer to socialism? The media lost their minds, claiming that Rush and his listeners were anti-American who just wanted Obama to fail. Of course, they completely ignored the context of socialism so that they could once again go after a major media critic and defend their dear leader, Obama. Tonight, with the economy tanking and the stock market today finishing at its lowest level in nearly 12 years, it may be hard to imagine that somebody out there actually wants the president's recovery plan to fail. But this man does. What, what is so strange about being honest and saying, I want Barack Obama to fail if his mission is to restructure and reform this country so that capitalism and individual liberty are not its foundation. Saying I want Obama to fail is saying essentially at one of, it, it, as what is one of the most precarious times in our nation's history, you want the country to fail, isn't it? Or, or am I reading this wrong? No, you're not reading it wrong. Don't you feel like you could denounce something like that? Are you so beholden to someone like Rush Limbaugh that oh, you gosh, can't say Nora. that that's not the type of rhetoric when America's trying to come together and do something for the unemployment rate? And Fast forward to today and a booming economy, and I believe the media is actually trying to manufacture a recession in the hopes that it'll hurt Trump's chances in 2020. Before all this recession talk started, they would simply downplay it, fail to report on good economic indicators, or just give all the credit to Obama. Now they're pulling out all the stops in a desperate bid to defeat Trump in 2020, even going as far like Bill Maher did in saying that a recession, even though it would hurt Americans, would be a good thing in service of defeating Trump. Just a week later, the media seems to have taken his advice and is literally trying to manufacture an economic downturn. This is yet another great example of how the media doesn't mind hurting Americans as long as it's in service of pushing their agenda. They keep us divided over things Things like exactly for that purpose. They fear monger about climate change and hurt businesses specifically so they can advance a far left agenda. They promote and fear monger about this alleged threat that's on the rise, but they're actually helping to swell these groups numbers by giving them so much attention. And again, they do this all in service of having a boogeyman against their political opposition. It's like I've said for years now, and anybody that's watched my channel for a couple weeks knows that I say this, but the left is particularly dangerous because they seem capable of rationalizing just about anything, and here we see another great example of that. They're willing to produce an economic crisis that will hurt Americans in order to get power back. And jitters. Are indicators that the U.S. could be headed for a recession. There are some rough waters ahead, maybe a recession. The fears of a coming recession spiked on the heels of a key economic indicator, what's called an inverted yield curve. We see a potential recession on the horizon. Recession, 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 recession. One of the excuses the media is using to spread fear over the economy is the inverted yield curve. Supposedly, every time one of those has occurred, we've had a recession. The problem is the inverted yield curve lasted about 24 hours and since then has spread and become wider, meaning there's no more inverted curve. Besides that, they pointed to one day when the Dow was down 800 points. Not great for sure, but also not that unusual. Back when Barack Obama was president, we had a few worse days in the Dow, but at the time, the media either blamed George W. Bush or simply downplayed the significance of the Dow. One thing they definitely didn't do was attack Barack Obama, which is a far cry from today where the media seems to be purposely trying to take down the economy. But a recession is okay. A recession is a normal part of economic activity. We, and if we did face a recession, it would be normal and it would be okay. Recession and re-election. President Trump insisting he has no concerns about the economy after that 800-point plunge as his 2020 opponents fire back, saying the president is terrible for business. And that's why the Democrats are attacking the economy, because it's the strength. It's a smart political move. You always go after your, your opponent's strength. So, Rob, are you saying... This is oh. such a huge conspiracy. I'm sorry. Another, yeah, I'm sure it's just a total coincidence that a week after Bill Maher floats the idea of a recession to defeat Trump, that the anti-Trump, pro-Democrat party media starts insisting that we're on the verge of a recession. Look, I don't claim to be an economist, and quite honestly, my understanding of economics 
is novice at best. However, I do see indicators that tell me the economy isn't nearly as bad as the partisan media would have us believe. Things like low unemployment and high retail sales and a GDP that has risen to levels that the media and Barack Obama said were a fantasy that would require a magic wand. They want to claim it's a conspiracy theory, but get on Google and do a search for low unemployment. What you're going to find is a bunch of stories with headlines like unemployment is low, but that's only part of the story. And states worry about the downside of low unemployment. And low unemployment, the bad news and the good news. Or if unemployment is so low, then why don't I feel better? Google's literally sending me to stories that demonize low unemployment. So is there actually a conspiracy by the media to produce a recession with a steady drumbeat against the economy? Based on their past behavior over the last few years especially, I would say it's a good bet. They've all already admitted at this point that their objective is to defeat Trump. So Rutenberg writes that um, if you as a reporter view a Trump presidency as something that's potentially dangerous, then your reporting is going to reflect that. You'd move closer than you've ever been to being oppositional. That's uncomfortable and uncharted territory for every mainstream non-opinion journalist I've ever known and by normal standards untenable, but says Rutenberg, normal standards may not apply. They used to at least pretend they were journalists, but now they've completely disregarded that facade and they've rationalized it by demonizing Trump and his supporters as inhuman monsters on a daily basis. As the economy has improved, the media has done their best to either downplay it or just not report on it at all. This isn't surprising at all, and it's all confirmed by a new study by the Media Research Center. According to their study, CNN and MSNBC host Democrat representatives and senators seven times more frequently than their Republican counterparts, along with the fact that they're just constantly parroting Democrat Party talking points. Quote, despite the current Republican majority in the Senate, Democrats accounted for 90, that's 87%, out of the total 103 interviews with senators, while Republican senators received just 10. The split was virtually identical among members of the House. 199, that's 87%, were Democrats, while the remaining 30, 13%, were Republicans. The presidential race was not the reason for the skewed results since the Congressional Democrats running for the 2020 nomination comprise only of a small slice of the interviewees. Just 10 of the total 134 Democrats interviewed on CNN, that's 7%, and 19 of the 148, that's 13%, on MSNBC. So during interviews, the questions that were posed to Republicans and Democrats were a vast majority coming from the perspective of a Democrat party agenda, meaning all the questions were meant to push a Democrat narrative. So yeah, it's probably not surprising that I don't find it that hard to believe that our media would be trying to produce a recession. Thanks for watching. Please smash that like button and subscribe. Thanks to the left-wing tyrants at YouTube, my videos have a very slim chance of ever being seen by anybody outside of my subscribers without hitting that like button. If you enjoy my content and you want to see this channel survive, please consider subscribing to me on Subscribestar or Patreon. You can also send me a donation over PayPal and I appreciate it.